Welcome back to another City Skylines video. For today, I want to show you how I built this amazing pinwheel roundabout here in City Skylines. Let's get started. So the very first thing we need to do is actually build the roundabout. So what I did was I created a dirt path of length of 10 units. Then I created two additional paths of five units going to the right and left. Then what I did was I created a, used a two way, one way road to create the roundabout. Now, as you can see, I'm using the curve tool and going to about 90 degrees and creating that perfect roundabout. Now that we have the roundabout in place, we can get rid of those dirt paths. So those dirt paths were just a guide. So that was step one. So for step two, we actually need to start building the pinwheel. I know it is a pinwheel roundabout. So let me show you how I did it. So on the screen in front of you, you have to repeat the same process that you saw in front of you three, uh, four, a total of four times. What I did was I used a curved road and I went about five units to the right and I went at a 90 degree angle. And then I used a, it was $420 to create that road. Then I used a straight road to connect the back to the actual roundabout itself. So you see to the right, 420, and then you use that straight road, connect it up to the note. Again, this process was repeated four times. So now let's get to step three. So the third step is possibly the easiest step of all of them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a two lane road to where both of those one way road merge together. So eventually these roads will be blended together and you'll see exactly what happens. But again, this is probably the easiest step just by adding a two lane road to the ends of our pinwheel roundabout. So for step number four, we can kind of see that the pinwheel is coming together. So now what we have to do is we have to get rid of all the clipping. So the very first step of getting rid of the clipping is aligning the different roads. So right here to the left is gonna be the exit of the pinwheel roundabout and to the right will be the on-ramp. So what we're doing is we are aligning the roads. So the road on the left will kind of separate from the road from the right. And we repeat this process for a total of four times. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying is that, all right, right now we have two single lane roads going in and out of the pinwheel. And the, right now what we're doing is we are separating those roads to create a on and off ramp. And also don't forget this. So um, what you'll see on the node controller mod is once I click over the alignment, you can see on the node controller mod itself that there's a plus sign. Don't forget to hit that plus sign. So and then this way it kind of balances out the whole node and intersection itself. So guys, don't be afraid of these lumpy bumpies and the clipping itself. This will all eventually fix itself and it will clear up and turn out amazing. So for part two of this node controller alignment, what we're doing is we're going to that middle or to the nodes that are connected to the roundabout itself. And we're aligning the on-ramp road to the pinwheel itself. So what we're doing is you're gonna see a slight difference. Now for this side, for some reason, everything was all set. I don't know why City Skylines decided to do that. But when you do align the road that's connected to that node, you're going to see a slight, like a very slight difference. See, you could just see it moved over a tiny bit. So once all four sides of those are aligned, we are almost done with this pinwheel. So now that we're going to start step number five is we're going to start to get rid of that clipping. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the movement mod and we're going to click on that slight turn and then hold down the control button. Now, by holding down the control button, what you're going to do is you're going to drag it downwards a tiny bit and you can see that everything kind of snaps into place. So it's an, it's not like you can over bend the road. Basically, the Sea Skylines game itself kind of balances itself out and it kind of fixes itself and snaps into that. So you really can't screw it up. Now, the second part of the using the move it mod is we do run into an issue here. So right now I'm trying to use that on ramp and I'm trying to bend 
the same road in, um, you know, I'm trying to bend it into the pinwheel roundabout itself. So right now you can see it is kind of working, but kind of not working, but don't worry. Honestly, do not freak out about this because it's actually very normal. So how did I actually fix this issue? So what you do next is you're gonna go into node controller and you're gonna hit the plus sign on all four sides of the pinwheel. Yeah, basically that fixed everything. Like look at now we actually have a good looking pinwheel. We have the intersections that look absolutely amazing. So basically that fixed all of our clipping and all of the lumpy bumpies that were in this City Skylines pinwheel roundabout. Hey guys, we have a pinwheel roundabout. Yeah, I know, it's amazing. So what we're gonna do next is I'm actually gonna start to detail it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. So guys, welcome back to the detailed pinwheel roundabout here in City Skylines. And as you could see, I did do a little bit of detailing. So basically I filled in the circle with some trees and some bushes and stuff like that. Um, what you'll also see is I used the line intersection marking tool and I added a filler. Um, I just added in concrete. You can do whatever you want. So just detailing wise guys, you can do what you want to your pinwheel. This is just a basic setup of what I did. So please guys, in the comment section below, please let me know, did you like the City Skylines pinwheel? Um, I did gain some inspiration from at least 10 different City Skylines YouTube channels, just to basically figure out like, how do you actually built this pinwheel? That's exactly why um, I created this video because I didn't know how to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.